This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. When we think about the COVID-19 vaccine hesitancy in the black community, let's remember it didn't happen by chance. It's justified in history. But the will to change the narrative is strong today, and our people are lending their voices to the conversation. We're sharing our stories and the reasons that made us choose the vaccine so we can lead the way for others to make a well-informed choice, too. To hear our stories, visit hereforuswa.org. $20 million, $19 million, $6 million. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too-big-to-fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your wages are being garnished. We can stop that now. It's hard enough to pay your bills when things are good, let alone when a big chunk of your take-home pay is gone before you even get your check. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné, and I can stop the garnishment and get the creditors off your back immediately, often the same day as our consultation. Both Chapter 7 and 13 provide bankruptcy relief, but choosing the right chapter is crucial. In a free consultation, we can create a plan to get your finances back under your control. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle and Odyssey Station. And there's a lot of cool things that Odyssey provides you. You get that Odyssey app? Oh, man. We got these new Odyssey exclusive stations that are curated just for you. So, like, for our friend Jose, who always wants to hear Free Bird, some good Southern rock, you get yeah. the Southern rock station, music born and bred in the South. That's actually pretty cool. It's a, it's a, it feels good to listen to that kind of a station. We did that for Jose, didn't we? It was just for him. It's just so he could stop texting me here wanting to hear Free Bird. I'm like, here, just listen yeah. to this Odyssey station. Also, Masters of Metal. Gives you a little bit of a taste of where metal was formed. Nice. So there's a lot of cool curated stations you can get on the Odyssey app. A lot of great podcasts. I mean, music, news, sports, whatever you want. And, of course, you can get our show anytime you want on the Odyssey app. Uh, the Odyssey. The Odyssey app. The Odyssey Odyssey. Odyssey Odyssey. Uh, let me tell you how to spell Odyssey so you can get it in your app store. A-U-D-A-C-Y Odyssey. Let's play B. today because it's wednesday so we whack him instead whack it let me see everybody do their mr wacky then all right Woo. well whack we don't it. we don't whack you maybe the contestant whacks you or maybe, maybe you i the do con- the whacky exactly maybe you're the whacker i'm ready to whack all right well let's get to our contestant we got chris in seattle chris are you there i am here excellent all right steve get out of here goodbye for those playing at home, Chris will have 60 seconds to answer 10 questions. Chris, you can pass all you want, but you will only get three guesses per question. Are you ready? Yep. David Allen Greer was on which Fox sketch comedy show? Uh, Mad TV. No. Uh, Fox, um, Trey Thielman? No. Uh, pass. What is the name of Porky Pig's girlfriend? Pass. What, how many times has Justin Timberlake been married? Uh, two. No. Three. No. One. Yes. A latte is a type of coffee made with espresso and what? Milk. Yes. Jim Carrey was born in what country? Canada. Yes. What type of animal is the fictional Japanese monster Gamera? Uh, dragon? No. Pass. WandaVision is found on what streaming service? Disney Plus. Yes. The Bucks are a professional basketball team from what Milwaukee. city? Yes. The standard ukulele has how many strings? Four. Yes. Typically, what kind of fish is in a Caesar, is in a Caesar dressing? Um, what type of fish? Yeah. 
that. Oh, all right. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six correct. All right, then. Yeah, I think he's going to get whacked today. Oh, you do? Yeah, unfortunately. Whack. I mean, uh, yeah. Unless, all right. Unless Steve uh, doesn't pay attention to any of the questions or anything. I mean, that could happen. So you really think Steve's got this in the bag? Well, I mean, walking wow. back in, I noticed that Steve is wearing his whack shirt. It's on Wacky Wednesday. Yeah, so. Whack it. <laughs> without, a cause, hey. without a cause wrestling. Yeah, yeah. Whack. W-A-C, without a cause. I see that. Yep. Tomorrow on their social media pages, they'll be making some announcements of upcoming shows. So you know, now the world is open again. Yeah. It's time to wrestle in every. <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, are you ready to uh, uh, not wrestle, but answer questions? Oh, yeah. David Allen Greer was on which Fox sketch sh- uh, sketch comedy show? In Live in Color. Yes. What is the name of Porky Pig? Porky Pig's girlfriend. Oh, crap! I don't know yet. Piggy Pig? No. Missy Pig? No. Piggly? No. How many Piggly? times has Justin Timberlake been married? Once. Yes. Nice. A latte is a coffee made with espresso and what? Oh, I like lattes. Uh, that, that would be milk. <laughs> yes. Jim Carrey was born in what country? Canada. Yes. What type of animal is the fictional Japanese monster Gamera? Gamera. What kind of animal? Is it a bird? No. A turtle. Yes. That's right. WandaVision is found on what streaming service? Uh, Disney Plus. Yes. The Bucks are a professional basketball Milwaukee. team from Yes. The standard ukulele has how many strings? Bring, bring, bring four. Yes. Wow. Typically, what kind of fish is in a Caesar dressing? Anchovy. Yes. And Steve, you win. Six to nine. No. Nice. Nice. Sorry, Chris, but at least you made a good, uh, good uh, score there. Yeah, at least I made it nice. Have a good day. <laughs> you too, take it easy, buddy. Well, you know what, Red? Red was behind you, and rightly so. Yeah. It's weird that Red was behind me on Wacky Wednesday, but I'm okay with that. Yeah. Whack it. Uh, the only one you missed, I'm pretty sure BJ knows this, uh, Porky Pig's girlfriend. I do believe it's Penelope. No. Petunia. 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 Oh, Almost right. a perfect 10 there, Steve. It just hit oh. me. Oh. All oh, right. Yep, Petunia right. Pig. Once I, I was off the pressure, I figured it out. <laughs> I have to remember that. Ben Grimm's aunt is Aunt Petunia, so I'm going to have to remember that in case I ever get asked that again. Is that, that how you're going to remember that? That's how I got to remember it. But no, that seems like a lot of steps. Are you going to remember that? You have to remember it that way. Probably not, but I'm <laughs> yeah. trying to put it in my brain so it stays there. It's a piece of obscure trivia that you'll yeah. remember by a piece of even more obscure trivia. It's That's like whenever, the only I, way. <laughs> whenever I try to remember somebody's name and I, I associate them with then a celebrity name. But they don't oh. look anything like the celebrity. I'm like, oh, it's nice to meet Paul. And then I'm like, Paul Rubens. I'm going to remember him because of Paul Rubens. And then like next time I see the person, I'm like, what was the celebrity that I connected him to? Yeah, Crap. whoops. <laughs> it's not going to work very well. <laughs> right, but I thought it would because somebody gave me that as a tip. And I'm like, it's a stupid way. <laughs> I just remember when they're naked. You know, that's how that works. And then you remember their name. Oh, wait, I don't think worked. that's how that particular thing No, that's thing for works. Uh, being up on stage and talking yeah, to people, right? That's, that's, I think I just had too many holes in my brain. Like, I'm trying to figure that out, how I like, be better with memory. Like, remember <laughs> names, remember like, s- situations. And like so many things just go in one ear and out the other for me. Well, you had a yeah. lot of fun in your 20s, so. 30s and some of my 40s as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and also, you, you're basically wrestling, which means sometimes you're going to get uh, hit in the head a couple times. Once or twice. Yeah, so I'm not sure shots. that's how. Uh, I'm not sure you're helping your memory situation. Wait, here. chair shots don't jog the memory? I haven't taken a chair shot to the head, at least. Oh, good. Good for you. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> well, congrats on your win. Yeah. I mean, you know what? Now they're using, like you said, they're using doors. So I'm sure you're going to get thrown through a door once in a while. Well, that could happen, BJ. Yeah. <laughs> no, no guarantees. It could happen next time I'm at yeah. WAC when they announce all the shows. Last time I checked, uh, you know, really, that's not good for the memory. I don't know. Maybe it is. I don't know. Maybe going through a door is good for the memory. I don't show know. me the stats that say it's not. Um, I think if I show you anything, you're going to forget it anyway because you went through a door. <laughs> Someone says I do the same thing to remember names as Steve, associating with a celebrity. I, I, well, you say it doesn't work. Hopefully it works for them because, yeah, again, you, you can associate it with a celebrity, but if they don't look like the celebrity, I don't know how you remember that that's the thing. Right. I mean, because, yeah. I mean, what are the odds like, that you meet somebody that looks like, you know, I don't know, like uh, Kelly Clarkson, and you're like, okay, I'm going to remember her because she looks just like Kelly Clarkson, and her name is Kelly. That's right. the problem. It's like, yeah, I, I, I would just assume, oh, he looks just like Alec Baldwin. Oh, wait, that, but his name is not Alec. Yeah. Uh, speaking I don't, I, of Alec Baldwin, exciting news there, BJ. Tomorrow what? at 719, Alec Baldwin's going to be hanging out with us. What? Yes. Wow. 719, Alec Baldwin's coming on the show? Yes. Wow. How cool is that? 
That is actually pretty cool. I mean, it's been a while since we've had somebody of his magnitude join us. That's pretty amazing. And he's uh, he's joining us to talk about the the new animated film that he's going to be in. That's going to be on in theaters and also on Disney Plus. The Boss Baby Family uh, Business. Oh right! Wow. So this is a sequel to the. I mean, because yes. Boss Baby was a huge hit. See, I never saw the first one. <laughs> yeah, I, I uh, so I've it. seen I've seen bits and pieces of it. I don't know if I've seen it in its entirety, but Alec does a great job in that. But I did watch the second one. I got an advanced screening a copy. Oh, you, oh, you've already watched so it. I've I watched the sequel, but oh, I haven't right. seen the original. <laughs> all right. Any cha- um, that's uh, uh, can you share that advanced screening, or is it just yours? Well, you should check your email, BJ. You got oh, is that, email oh, oh, do I have one now? Yeah, you oh, got sweet. one yesterday. Oh, all right. Well, I should check my email. All right, that's a good idea. Yeah. Uh, Thanks, I, buddy. Honestly, I, I I need to now watch the first one. The, the second one was freaking great. It looks like the first one is on Hulu. Oh, whoa. Okay, Hulu then. Again? Yeah, it looks Sorry, like you're going to get Hulu, buddy. I'm not getting Hulu just for things. And did you watch it with that little tater tot? Because it is a cartoon. Absolutely. Animation. And how'd she, what was her thumbs up, thumbs down? Thumbs in her mouth watching it. <laughs> okay. She sucked her thumb and watched it. Said that, that's a sign that she liked it. That's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, sorry that you can't get Hulu. I, I have Hulu. I, I know well, a guy. Cool. Why don't you rub it in? Yeah, all right. I think I shall. No, it's very, very good nice. though. I, I was, I, I, I was entertained by it, and it, it's, it's. A, it feels like it might have been a Christmas movie though, because based on some of the stuff that's going on in the movie, I wonder if their initial plans were to get this out during Christmas time. Oh, interesting. You may be right. Yeah, you may be very well right about that. Um, yeah, because I mean, as we know, when Black Widow comes out, that this that movie's going to be almost what three years old. I feel like by the time we get to see it, so damn. You know, yeah, I mean, it's, it's at least going to be two years old anyway, but you know what? I don't care. I'll watch it, and I'll watch Boss Baby Family Business, right? Yes. Nice. Tomorrow morning, 719, Alec Baldwin. Ooh, very cool. Well, speaking of celebrities, Courtney Cox has a celebrity friend that likes to order her gimp masks through her Alexa whenever he stays at her house. <laughs> Who's doing this? You're going to hear from him at 719 on The Rock. BJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock, 99.9 KISW. This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. When we think about the COVID-19 vaccine hesitancy in the black community, let's remember, it didn't happen by chance. It's justified in history. But the will to change the narrative is strong today, and our people are lending their voices to the conversation. We're sharing our stories and the reasons that made us choose the vaccine so we can lead the way for others to make a well-informed choice, too. To hear our stories, visit hereforuswa.org. Your kids will be saying, Please five more minutes. I can't believe I did that. (laughs) And look how high I can bounce. Spring Free is the world's safest trampoline, the place where stories are made. The innovative design boasts no springs, so you know you're safe. Go ahead and create the greatest stories you'll tell your friends. We're back in stock. Get it while you can. To learn more about the world's safest trampoline, visit springfreetrampoline.com. Mom, come watch us! $20 million, $19 million, $6 million. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too-big-to-fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. Ed Sheeran and Courtney Cox have been friends since 2013, so whenever he's in L.A., he stays at her house, which is kind of cool. That's pretty sweet friendship right there. Right? Right? Yeah. Going over to the Coxes. Yeah. I don't know if that's... Pardon me? That's, uh, I don't know if that's the... Yeah, I don't... Uh, going over was, to Courtney's. There you that's go. It. That's, yeah. Uh, Ed was on The Late Late Show with James Corden and admitted that he likes to mess with her when he does stay there. I, uh, she has this Alexa thing in her house and she goes, Ed, isn't this wonderful? This is my Alexa. I can just order whatever on, on this. So she walks out of the room and do you know what a gimp mask is? <laughs> you know, like an, an, an S&M leather gimp mask. So she walks out of the room I, I'm aware of and I go, this. I go, Alexa, order me a gimp mask. And it, it goes, okay, Courtney, I'll order you a gimp. And anyway, so unbeknownst to me, Courtney's assistant 
found it in the it, she opened the um, post and she found, finds his mask and instantly goes oh, I don't think I was meant to see that <laughs> and leaves it on Courtney's bed and Courtney comes up and she's like where did this come from anyway she found out the story and then now every time I go back there I order her another gimp mask and she has maybe like 12 and then I, I hide them in people's bedrooms, so they'll go in a drawer and they'll just find this like leather S and M mask. And she had she had two people come and like look at her piano to try and buy it. Two absolute strangers going into her house that I found out about. So I left a couple of masks on the piano as well. So. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Man, oh, man. I love Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran's really talented. I've seen him live and he's great, but like, you know, it's a pop. He's just, he's awesome. That's so yeah. funny. I love that he trolls her like that and that she just, de- I mean, after a while you'd be like, seriously, dude. I mean, but you know, and the fact that other people are coming over and these gimp masks are just everywhere. And you know, someone at like the fam- fulfillment center's got to be like, why does Courtney Cox, you know, because they probably see her name and they're like, it's got to oh, be good celebrity call. Courtney Cox. And you're like, why do we have to keep sending her these gimp masks? Like, oh, <laughs> why is she going <laughs> through them so often? <laughs> these actors are so weird, right? Yeah, she really, man, oh man, she must have some parties. Do you think there's somebody that is like amongst like a circle of friends? Like, yeah, I used to work at Amazon Fulfillment, and dude, Courtney Cox has got so many gimp masks, and people are like, I don't believe it. And this comes out, and they're like, I told you, I knew she, <laughs> she really was ordering them. I didn't realize it was Ed Sheeran I was ordering them for her, but yeah. Uh, you're absolutely right. That's the, boy. That is awesome. What's well, like? Our, it's the lukewarm topic of the day. What's that? It's like our our Alexa here in studio. It, it belongs to Sergeant Hair Club. So whenever we order stuff on it, it he it, it's attached to his cards. So remember when we ordered all those um those fart songs? Oh yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. It was like a dollar or something, but still it had to show up under his account. <laughs> yeah, I think we should be doing more of that to be honest yeah, with you because right? that's still his. Should we order gimp masks? Yeah. Oh, yeah, why not? sure. Why not? Why not? <laughs> if it's good enough for Ed Sheeran and Courtney Cox, it's good enough for Hair Club. Oh, that's going to be awkward. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, Ed Sheeran, man, he likes to mess with Courtney Cox when he stays at her house by ordering gimp masks through her Alexa. Based on this, what stupid thing do you like to do to mess with your friends? Or maybe it's your friends messing with you. 206 421 Rock. Texas at 77999. What stupid thing do you like to do to mess with your friends? Or what do your friends do to mess with you? We'll take your calls. We'll take your texts. After the Chili Peppers on The Rock. BJ and Migs. Mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. 99.9 KISW. The Rock of Seattle. So uh, Ed Sheeran likes to mess with Courtney Cox when he stays at her house by ordering gimp masks through Alaska, Alexa. And he he's ordered dozens of these <laughs> and they're just all over her place. And uh, it's a pretty stupid thing to do to mess with your friend. But uh, I love it. And we're wondering, how about you? What stupid thing do you like to do to mess with your friends? Or what do your friends do to mess with you? 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. Eric in Issaquah, you are on the rock. Hey, guys, how you doing? Good morning. Morning, Eric. What you got for us, buddy? So several years ago, I uh, was uh, hanging out with my best friend and another buddy of ours, and I was helping one of them move. And uh, when the job was done, one of them uh, had uh, found some rather raunchy porn magazines and decided to leave them in the glove box of my truck. And I found him a couple of days later. It's like, ah, oh, geez, man. You know, you could could have at least left me something that you know I would have actually enjoyed. But oh no, this had to be raunchy stuff. And I decided to get revenge on my best friend for it, since he was, you know, obviously part of the plot. And so uh, when he asked me to watch over his place for a couple of days while he was taking care of some business, I decided to cut out a whole bunch of individual pictures out of those magazines and passed them all over the place. I oh. came some of them to his beer cans. I left some of them in between his uh, folded towels in the bathroom, nice. some of them in the sock drawer. Wow. In the dresser. I left them all over the place. And he was finding them for a good couple weeks. Yeah, this is why I don't ask anybody to watch my place for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> every 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 couple of days, man, he'd call me. Yeah, that's no, really yeah, hard I, communicating I, I with him. It sounds like that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> 
By the way, that's exactly how I would sound if people did that to me. So, yeah, yeah I would definitely be that guy. Oh, it's just a simple text, but I just love it. This person says, I like to take the labels off all the canned goods at my friend's houses. Oh, oh you monster. <laughs> right? Oh, yeah, that's a beating, dude. You don't that, know if that... you're getting corn or peaches. But they all come in a can. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's in. not cool. Yeah. I mean, that is not. Well, now okay. I got to start taking pictures of all the cans in my cupboard just in case. <laughs> or put a little Sharpie markings. Oh, yeah, oh. like underneath. Yeah. I'm yeah, that'll show shock. them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 206 421 Rock, Texas at 77999. Let's go to Charlie in Lakewood. Charlie, you are on the rock. Good morning, Jim. Hey, hey. Good morning, Charlie. What you got for us, buddy? Uh, so back around, I think, uh, like mid 2007 ish, uh, I just got stationed up here after joining the Army. Uh, I was more outwardly vocal about, you know, not being Christian and stuff like that. And, and when you're in the military and people find stuff that they, that bugs you, they pick at it until it's, you know, nice overdone. Right. I think I would so, have done well in the military if that's all, if that was one of the things you needed to do, cause I'm a good picker. I can pick at people. So what'd they do to you? So, uh, one, one weekend, I think it was a like Saturday, uh, they had, some, there were some people that had lived off post, and they came into the barracks to meet up with some uh, some of the guys that lived in the barracks to, you know, go out and do do something. I think they were golfing or something. I don't remember. Anyways, uh, the mail clerk was bringing everybody's mail in for Saturday, and they were like, "Oh, let's get him!" So they convinced the mail clerk to open up my mailbox in the barracks, and they packed my mailbox full of flyers from one of the local churches around here. Like, oh, that's, that's awesome. To the point awesome. where they, they had to, like, use a pry bar leaning against my mailbox door to get it to close again. <laughs> so the mail clerk that was on duty left off shift and, like, didn't bother to tell the next guy what was going on. So when the next batch of mail that was, like, the late, late shift mail came in, he went to go open my mailbox and couldn't open it, wouldn't open at all. So I get this knock on my door at around six, seven o'clock at night on a Saturday. And it's this, uh, you know, one of the non-commissioned officers, he's like, Hey, why for the love of God is your entire mailbox stuffed full of church flyers? <laughs> because for the and love of God, clearly. I, I think that's exactly why. I, so. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I had no answer for that. So he's like, get your rear end out here, clear this box out, and if it happens again, you're getting written up. And I was like, I, it, it, this is this has nothing to do with me, man. It's not my fault. Yeah, exactly. How, how, that, that, I mean, I love that he gets blamed for it. Like, oh, yeah, this is what I did. I stuffed my own mailbox with this. <laughs> I asked all my friends to do this to me. Yeah, uh, unless unless the mail dude thought he was being pranked. Which you know, I had the, that that could be a possibility, but either way, it's like uh, uh, friends. Don't you love friends? How they mess with you? Oh yeah, very excited. Uh, he is the first ever coach for the Seattle Kraken. Dave Haxtall joins us at seven forty-five on the Rock. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. I have lots of tickets that I haven't paid. Can those be discharged through a bankruptcy? Yes, there are some limits on, on what we can do with tickets. Tickets cannot be discharged in a full bankruptcy in a Chapter 7 case. That won't help you get your license back. But in Chapter 13 reorganization, uh, tickets are dischargeable. Most types of tickets are dischargeable. So you would have to pay back some of the tickets in a Chapter 13 case, but the vast majority of them could be discharged if you complete the plan. And again, you would get your license back right away um, when you file the Chapter 13 case, uh, as long as the only reason you don't have your license is because of failure to pay your tickets. But if the but the Chapter 13 process will help you get your license back and repay a, a small portion of your tickets in most cases uh, and get your license reinstated almost immediately. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. When we think about the COVID-19 vaccine hesitancy in the black community, let's remember, it didn't happen by chance. It's justified in history. But the will to change the narrative is strong today, and our people are lending their voices to the conversation. 
We're sharing our stories and the reasons that made us choose the vaccine so we can lead the way for others to make a well-informed choice, too. To hear our stories, visit hereforuswa.org. Wenatchee is gorgeous in the spring with its lush green rolling hills, abundant wildflowers everywhere, and the views of the Columbia River. The local food scene offers an abundant selection of authentic international cuisines featuring the unique farm fresh ingredients of the region. Wenatchee is also home to award-winning wines, handcrafted hard ciders, and a talented handful of local brewers producing fine craft beers. Visit Wenatchee, the heart of Washington State.